Hey lovelies, welcome back to Reviews and Recaps. We're going to be talking about Melody's event, Mimosas with Melody that just took place. We're also going to be talking a little bit about Carlos Skin. So if you're new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I do reality TV commentary. I also do reviews and recaps on TV shows. So please make sure you hit that subscribe button. And everyone, please like, share, and don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section. Now let's get into today's video. So Melody had a beautiful, beautiful event called Mimosas with Melody. She looked amazing. Everyone looked amazing. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to be there. You guys know I live on the other side of the world. So I've just been leaving vicariously through all the content creators and also Melody's story. I saw Queen Sheba Darling. She looked amazing and she was doing her thing. So that was really, really good to see. I hear like Here for Hot Tea was there as well. I honestly can't wait until their event somewhere close enough to me or an event coincides with when, when next I'm in the US. So I'm just hoping that I get a chance to actually attend one of these things. Now let's talk about the drama that's happened. So Drew Sedora, for those of you who don't know, Drew Sedora is an actress. She's also a reality TV show. She's a reality TV star, sorry, um, of Royal Housewives of Atlanta. And so Melody gave her, um, she attended Melody's event and Melody gave her an award of the woman on the rise. I thought it was very befitting because to be honest, like Drew has gone through a whole lot just as Melody has. And I'm just glad that they are there to support each other. So that was nice. And so, of course, she posted a little bit about the event, posted herself, talked about the award that she got. Um, so if I just quickly read that here, I say it's grateful beyond words for being honored with the Woman on the Rise Award by my beautiful friend, Melody Cherie. You really did your big one with this. Your recognition means the world to me. Thank you for your unwavering support and belief in my journey and having me a part of this awesome event. The vibe was beautiful and empowering. We will get Hill Harper to the Senate. Ble hashtag blessings, hashtag mimosas with Melody, hashtag Hill Harper. So that was really, really nice. And guess who left a comment? Carlos King. So Carlos King left love struck emojis and people decided to light his A on fire. Like people dragged him. So someone said, so you know it was Mel's event, right? You can't be any more obvious. If it wasn't for her, you'll still you'll still be a has been with your one and done shows. Someone said, sorry, as ninja. Another person said he's very ungrateful. I don't care if they are beefing. He should be big enough to congratulate this woman on a successful event. Another one said, wow, can't salute Mel, but okay, never mind. Welp, your slip is showing, but God got Mel, not Satan. And I'm like, period. And then Carlos, take your fake ass on somewhere. Another person said, but this fool was never in heaven, but Bravo fired his ass quick fast and a hurry and that's all he talks about is bravo's child you cannot fire me and the only thing i talk about is you never ever which is fair enough because it almost seems like carlos is so quick to reach out and talk to all these bravo stars but then he's not really cultivating his own stars the way that he should and it's very very disappointing that like you're following bravo celebrities um instead of focusing on your own cast um, another person said, why weren't the Love and Marriage Huntsville cameras at this event? Um, I thought you wanted to display black excellence. Last night's Mimosa with Melody was definitely 100, 100, 100. Honestly speaking, from what I can see, and we know who Miss Melody is, Miss Melody does not play. She does everything to perfection. So, of course, these things were, of course, the event was black excellence. And of course, it should have been filmed. I feel like Carlos and the whole production team dropped the ball on that. If you're saying you're trying to show us black excellence, then show us black excellence. Instead, you continue to follow things like the Black Expo, where they're not doing things properly. It's like, yes, now I know that, yes, there's a little bit of drama required for the show. I understand that. But I feel like you talked about the show wanting to show black excellence. So show black excellence. Show black excellence. And then have a bit of drama in there as well. But instead it feels like drama is all you want to have. And then 
not even anything that is up to black excellence. I just don't understand that. Like, what would it cost you to bring the cameras there to film such a beautiful event? Another person said, all I know is you better not air that Espo on this season um, as it's going to be some nasty A your slip is showing. Another person said, exactly, the hate is real. All fake Carlos, shame on you. Another person said, you are straight up trash for this. How can you not congratulate the star and co-creator of your number one show on own but you make time to comment over here shame on you if it weren't for melody your career will still be in the toilet like who does this and got the nerve to talk about god boy by hashtag judas people are not playing with with carlos king they are dragging him for filth another person said you don't deserve to even make a comment on this post use a raggedy ass ninja this is a Melody Cherie post. It is about Melody. Now, buy and go work on your bougie and BS. Ooh, because the ratings are low, low, low. And that piece of sh- love, la- L- L-A-M-H, love marriage and spoke cast members don't have a real business. Deuces, tired ninja. Wow. Wow. People are coming for him. You wanted Mel to show up to Stormy's event to be messy. Cameras always there for that mess. Watch you end up right back in the gutter with nothing. Going where Mel found you when she pitched that show that you're trying to run her off. When she go, it will tank like the rest of your shoes. Your true knack, y'all hate so hard you destroy your own selves. Wow. This is the thing, right? Hating does not get you anywhere. I feel like hating does not get you anywhere. And the problem is, if you now start to hate on someone who is the reason that you're succeeding, someone whose favor is the reason you're succeeding, it's only a matter of time before it crumbles. God does not like ugly. So it's not going to work out. And then someone said, they got you all the way together over there, didn't you? I'm like, they sure did. They sure got Carlos. Carlos was probably reading this speechless AF at the end of the day. But honestly, I really hope they don't have that BS um, Espo because like we all know Carlos loves to support the Scott and everything they have going on. Um, But when it comes to supporting Melody Cherie, he does not do that. But if it's to get Melody Cherie's fans to buy tickets to events so that he can make money, of course, he does that only for him to then strike out their channels, right? Like, so that's a madness. He shouldn't be able to get away with using her at his will. Now, one of the things that Melody has been saying a lot of is that no gray areas. So I feel like she is not going to be playing no games with them this season. I feel like she may even leave after this season. It is speculation. I'm just guessing. I don't know for a fact. I'm just saying. Um. Also, Carlos King then decided to post something on his page which was talking about how, you know, letting people go and some people don't are not meant to be in your lives and all that kind of stuff. I didn't post it here because I'm like, you know, he likes to strike channels. I'm not trying to come for I don't want nobody striking my channel. So that's all I have to talk to you guys about today. Don't forget to like, share and hit that subscribe button. Let me know what you think in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Bye.